With this video, we're going to take a look at the QuickBooks to Salesforce to Slack MuleSoft flow that we built out here on the Salesforce platform. So the first step that we're looking at is a trigger on new invoices. So this event, this flow is going to trigger whenever a new invoice is created. The second action is based upon that customer ID that we find within that invoice, we are going to get all that customer information. Third step is we are going to get the item ID in QuickBooks. The item record represents all products and services that are on that invoice. So we have all those record fields. And then our fourth action is get invoice. So back going back to step one, we are now going to grab that invoice ID from the invoice we've just created. And then we're going to create an invoice within Salesforce based upon all of the mapped fields that we can now use. And then our last step would be posting a message to Slack. So we're going to post it to the cash flow channel. So let's take a look at what all this looks like. So uh, before I do that, let me hit test. So we can make sure that this functions correctly and that there are no error messages. So we'll wait for the test to start. Test is starting. So we will create a new invoice. I've already got a lot of this information here. We'll grab some services and then we'll click save. And so if we come back over here, we'll wait for this trigger event to officially be recognized. So there we are, it's processing. And it looks like everything was successful. So let's take a look at what we see. So if we, I come over to Haven Enterprises, the account where that invoice is tied to, and I click invoices, what do I see? I see, let me make sure we refresh this. Yep, so the invoice date that we just created, that invoice 122, we see that we brought over all those fields that we had mapped. We see that we have the Salesforce services a002 on the bottom. Now that's because we mapped it to that field. We could also create a child object that represents those line items. Um, just for the purposes of demo, we've tied it to just that field. And then if I come over into Slack, I can see that the master cache bot within this channel has allowed me to see that invoice 1015 has been received by Sean we met who we invoice set out to originally. So from end to end, from QuickBooks to Salesforce to Slack, we have a complete cash process using the MuleSoft Composer.